Hello and welcome to Big Picture. I am Vishal Dahiya and today we will have a discussion on Swachh Sarvekshan 2018, the comprehensive sanitation survey which has been conducted in more than 4,000 cities across the country from 4th of January. The third edition of Swachh Sarvekshan will begin on 4th January to rank 4,041 cities and towns of the country based on infrastructure, development for improved sanitation services and their sustainability outcomes, Citizen Connect and visible impact on ground. This pan-India survey has special focus on sustainability initiatives and decentralized solid waste management with increased marks in the methodology for citizen feedback and independent assessment. The first such survey was conducted two years ago in 73 cities with Mysore begging the first rank. The fo this was followed by the second edition of the survey in 2017 in 434 cities in which Indore emerged as the cleanest city. This year, 4,001 cities will be ranked based on 71 sanitation parameters with different weightages for a total of 4,000 marks. While toilet construction in both urban and rural areas seem to be progressing well, solid waste management continues to be a challenge for the government with just 30% of the waste generated being processed. So what is the significance of this particular survey? How will it contribute in implementing the Swachh Bharat mission? And what are the challenges ahead for a de detailed discussion on this? Today, we are joined in the studios by a distinguished panel of guests. Let me start by introducing you to them, starting with Mr. V.K. Jindal, National Mission Director of uh, Swachh Bharat Mission, the urban component of the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. We have with us uh, Mr. Puneet Goel as well, uh, the Commissioner of South Delhi Municipal Corporation. And we're also joined by uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Lalit Kumar, the Senior Vice President of uh, Sulab International. Welcome all of you in Rajya Sabha TV studios. Uh, and thank you for joining us as well. Let me begin uh, with you, uh, Mr. Jindal, uh, since you're the man uh, in charge for conducting this particular survey and the uh, mission as well, the Swachh Bharat mission, the urban component. Let us begin by understanding what exactly is this survey about. This is the third edition of this survey. 4,000 odd cities. What are we looking at? The survey is assessing the sanitation of the cities mm -hmm. and ranking of the cities in according to the state progress they have made in the sanitation okay. status. And uh, this survey is the largest in the world because we are covering about the 40 crore people mm -hmm. uh, in the of the India. Okay. So no such survey has been made ever in the world or coverings of the sanitation. We are uh, we are trying to assess the sanitation on the six parameters. Mm -hmm. First thing is the what is the status of the ODF that is open defection free. Mm -hmm. What is the status of the collection and transportation mm -hmm. of the gas solid waste? How you dispose the garbage you have collected, what whether you process it or you just dump it? Mm -hmm. How you have mobilized the people through your IC activity? And what you have done? The capacity building in the sense how you have trained the people, how you have chased the uh, staff of the people mm -hmm. and last not the least the important element which has been added in this year is the innovation it's the innovation okay. element that's the yeah. new one which has been added, added. Mm -hmm. and uh, basically we understand that the, our cities are doing a lot new initiatives they are doing mm -hmm. and we think that their research work the innovative work the innovative efforts should continue so we have also given how you have done innovation mm -hmm. for achieving the target of the Swachh Bharat mission. Okay, so, so these all are the contours. We will uh, go to them one by one uh, specifically and we will also talk about the new element, that's the innovation. But let me bring in uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the Municipal Commissioner of uh, STMC, uh, Mr. Uh, Goel, uh, who is here with us. Mr. Goel, you know, this kind of survey which began in 2016, one element which we have seen is the sense of competition which has, uh, you know, emerged in uh, several cities across the country. We see uh, how cities are now competing with each other. How are cities preparing specifically? Your city is also going to be a part of it. And I was going through the ranking for SDMC for 2016 and 17. It was 39 out of uh, 73 in 16 and it was 202 out of 434 uh, in 2017. Not a very good ranking for... Uh, you know, um, a corporation like SDMC, but I'm sure uh, you would be uh, preparing a lot this time around. Yeah, last year we were very much disappointed 
and when we slipped to 202. Uh, let me tell you, actually there are three components okay. of this, three major components. Mr. Jindal has told about six components, but from the citizen pr perspective, I would say there are three major parts of this survey. Okay. One is the toilets, mm -hmm. the community toilets and public toilets, mm -hmm. and which uh, determine whether a city is open defecation free or not, whether the urination facilities are there near the markets, whether the facilities are there in the slums. Mm -hmm. So that is one component. Second is solid waste management. Okay. Solid waste management, whether we are segregating or not, whether we are processing or not, whether we are doing decentralized processing. Mm -hmm. So that is the second component. And the third component is this time they have added is liquid waste management. Okay. That is uh, primarily sewage management mm -hmm. that uh, Delhi Jal Board does in uh, in Delhi. So we have uh, worked very hard this year because last year uh, uh, we we slipped because of the documentation and uh, the work uh, whatever in Swachh Bharat Mission which started in uh, 2014 October. Mm -hmm and uh, the maximum momentum has come this year okay so we have already applied to uh, ministry of urban development for declaring south delhi as odf the work of community toilets is done by dusip in delhi mm -hmm. but this time in uh, in somewhere in the month of june we decide that, decided that DUSIB alone cannot do this work. So a lot of initiatives so being taken by uh, and as far as solid waste management is concerned we are we were already processing more than 50 percent of the of the waste mm -hmm. but this time we have done tenders within one year south delhi will be processing 75 percent of our garbage and within two years we will be processing 100 percent of our garbage okay so there are marks for each of these uh -huh. points and as far as liquid waste management is concerned i think delhi is far ahead of many 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 other, many other cities so given the fact year, that it is a metropolitan and this year we are we are preparing well for the documentation okay so let's we, hope we are, uh, so we are hoping that this year we will imp improve significantly let's hope uh, that uh, the rankings improve for the sdmc and other such cities who are uh, preparing on the, uh, at the at the same level and par as uh, sdmc is doing let me bring in uh, uh, dr L dr lalith uh, very important part uh, is you know this these kind of surveys and specifically that uh, this is being conducted at such a large level uh, do uh, play a very important role in implementation of uh, the entire concept of Swachh Bharat Mission, that is the SBM, specifically the urban component. Now, if you look at uh, uh, one important component of that SBM, that is uh, the ODF, that's open defecation free. Nine states have uh, been declared ODF in urban segment. Three UTs have been declared. What exactly uh, do you believe are surveys like this uh, can contribute towards achieving these targets? <clears throat> First of all, I would like to congratulate the ministry for taking up this initiative and uh, it has brought a vibrancy in Swachh Bharat mission mm -hmm. urban as well as rural mm -hmm. and I had an occasion to attend a meeting in Bhopal which was ranked number two in the last survey mm -hmm. so there were uh, urban local body representatives from all over the country they showcased their efforts and uh, it was very uh, moving to note that people were very interested to know how Bhopal achieved this status. Mm -hmm. So uh, Bhopal, we observed roads were clean, toilets were clean. I observed one Sulab International toilet, which is in mm -hmm. front of, which is made in front of lake. It was uh, speak and span. Tourists visit there. So mm -hmm. uh, there are different frames of discourse for on sanitation. Mm -hmm. From gender perspective, it is very important. Ladies, they have to suffer the most if we don't have these facilities. Mm -hmm. There is economic perspective. If we spend $1, we can get back $9. It cuts across different uh, sectors of economy. Okay. And then the discourse may be uh, from education angle or uh, even from human rights angle. So this is a very important aspect which our Honorable Prime Minister has drawn attention mm -hmm. and things are moving very fast and uh, this survey would bring more vibrancy in the efforts. 
Okay. ULB uh, functionaries would be active, those who are working at the cutting edge, as well as people are taking a lot of interest. So I think it's a very positive step and we are looking forward and we are watching how this survey goes and what are the next result. How, how will it how, how will it play out? We're very very important part. Uh, we'll uh, uh, you know bring the innovation part here. Uh, you know, uh, Mr. Jindal, the innovation uh, part which has been introduced in this time around in the methodology, uh, the weightage given is five percent. What exactly is uh, uh, you know your ministry looking forward to in term of uh, giving that five percent weightage to innovation? What are you uh, expecting from uh, the uh, municipal corporations or the authorities in these cities to come up with? The innovation can be in any form. Mm -hmm. You may take an innovation, how to mobilize the people, mm -hmm. uh, how you say, collect the uh, garbage, mm -hmm. how you encourage the people to segregate the garbage. For example, one of the ULB has introduced a app for collection and segregation of the wastage. Okay. So that's, the, that's, 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 that's what the type innovation, of innovation is. Mm -hmm. One ULB has introduced how to engage these NGOs mm -hmm. to recycle the garbage and make the usable items to be distributed. Mm -hmm. So a number of the steps are being taken. And these innovative efforts becomes the best practices to be followed by the other ULBs. And thus a momentum of best practices is being created mm -hmm. and we think that we should uh, reward those peoples which uh, give a innovation in new thrust. Okay, and that, and that momentum also involves uh, initiatives from the citizens as well and the citizen involvement as well. Let yeah. me let me go back to uh, you know uh, Mr. Goel on this, Mr. Goel. Citizen initiatives which we have been uh, you know talking about, uh, citizens involvement as well. The feedback system in this entire survey, which is uh, there, as in citizens' feedback, will also play a very important part. How do you look at that? Being one of uh, uh, the man in charge of one of the ULBs, how how does it translate into action on the ground? Feedback from the citizens and uh, you know citizens' uh, involvement as well. That is a very important component of this surveyction, mm -hmm. and some 30 percent weightage has been 30, 35 percent weightage is there for, yes. for citizen feedback. Mm -hmm. So we have adopted many many techniques. Some are prescribed by by the ministry only. Mm -hmm. We have put 400 feedback units at our public toilets and community toilets. The, the whereby we know whether maintenance is good, bad. So, and then uh, apart from that, there is Swachhata app. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of emphasis, emphasis on downloading and feedback f uh, f uh, on Swachhata app. Okay. In addition, there have been many meetings with RWAs. They are involvement with min maintenance of parks. Mm -hmm. Their involvement in uh, segregation involvement in uh, uh, processing of wet waste mm -hmm. so all these things are uh, uh, very very important because without as prime minister also said without community it is not the job of only municipal body or safai karamcharis mm -hmm. it is uh, the job of every citizen so, the, so uh, the citizens involvement and the involvement of individuals is very very important what, for uh, you know uh, success to be achieved in this particular what, aspect what That's prime minister is looking at uh, uh, India becoming like Western world in terms of cleanliness and and uh, sanitation. So uh, once we have to achieve that, a lot of uh, civic sense has to come slowly okay. on each of us. And then the target is 29. Let me bring in Dr. Lalit on this. Dr. Lalit, uh, do you believe uh, citizen involvement is, is a very, very key uh, component and this is something which can propel this entire momentum, uh, movement to a particular uh, level wherein we will achieve the targets? Yes, innovation as well as citizens' participation is the key. I like to quote Mark Nerfin, who said, Prince, merchant and citizen. He wrote a paper in Development Dialogue. Mm -hmm. So, Prince is government and merchant is our business community, corporate, as well as citizens. Citizens are the pillar. So, all three have to come together and then we will get results. Citizens' organizations are... Uh, ears and eyes of uh, overall programs. So they need to be um, involved mm -hmm. and what they can do, prince and merchant can't do. They have a unique role mm -hmm. and uh, in this survey, uh, weightage is given to their views. Mm -hmm. I had an occasion to visit Rohini in Delhi. 
So citizens groups, housing societies were given awards by one NGO. Mm -hmm. They were segregating the waste and uh, it was very nice and uh, eye-opener for me that so much is happening. Mm -hmm. So different uh, NGOs or civil society organizations are doing great job in different cities. So they all should come together to achieve the result and uh, to make our Honorable Prime Minister's vision a reality. It's a time-bound mission, so all should come together. So and of course, citizen is the key. Citizen is the key and the, the civil center. society is obviously as, right. as well the key. Let me uh, go back to uh, the mission director, uh, Mr. Jindal. One very important aspect which is uh, there in this particular edition of the survey is that focus as this time around shifted from the process and outcome initiatives to outcome and sustainability. So what exactly are you targeting here? Because this involves more than 4,000 cities. Look, the focus is really has been changed from the to the sustainability mm -hmm. rather than we should claim that the cleanliness is not a one time job. Okay. The Chhaya Bharat clean today the uh, street is clean. It should remain clean on the next day also. So it has to be sustained so, momentum. So, so sustained. Mm -hmm. So what is the, the case is for example we have created IHHL individual household toilets. Mm -hmm. Now the toilets have been created. But the basic there, there is no infrastructure for fecal management. Mm -hmm. So we say that the liquid waste management is a issue mm -hmm. which has to be solved. So, so that, that's something that, which that, also that, has that, been that, included that, this time. Yeah. Around. For example, you have connects, you have a toilets, mm -hmm. but water connection is not there. So until and water, how many toilets you have the water connection or not? For example, we have stole. Okay, you have the public toilets, but you do not have the maintenance. So maintenance, how have you targeted that the maintenance work is automatically sustainable, either through advertisement or through some user charges. Mm -hmm. So these are the ways where we are saying that these things should be sustainable. For example, now no, segregation. We think that the segregation is the key of the waste management mm -hmm. because the 60% of the wastage is the wet waste and mm -hmm. the wet waste is segregated there is no and 30 percent the recyclable so how much percentage of the, your waste is being segregated at source at the home itself okay so this is the way so the third last is very bulk generators mm -hmm. so if bulk generators themselves process the because they generate about 25 percent of the waste mm -hmm. if this themselves process the waste though the responsibility towards the municipality will come to that extent down Mm -hmm. So these are the sustainable uh, no, outcome you are telling from, from process. Earlier we used to say how many plants have been set up. Okay. No, I, we don't say the what how many plants are set up. You may plant set up or you do a process yourself. Mm -hmm. What is my intention is how much percentage of the compost has been manufactured and sold. Okay. We have not understanding that we were for, we were for interested that whether the Y lodge for the door to door collection have been Notified. Notified. No, we no. are not concerned. Mm -hmm. We are concerned of what is the percentage of the collection of user charges. Okay. So that we we are not interested whether you have under, uh, uh, installed the biometric system. We are not interested now. We are interested that the how whether the attend the salary of the workers is being paid linked to the attendance. Mm -hmm. That is the way. We are not interested whether the GPS has been installed in the vehicle system. We are more interested in the drivers are being paid on the basis of their performance. So basically the focus is on all those steps which can uh, sustain uh, the yeah. uh, you know previous steps which have been taken to implement uh, <laughs> this this entire concept. Let me bring in uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the uh, SDMC councillor uh, Mr. Goel again. Mr. Goel you spoke about how liquid uh, waste management and the solid waste management is something which is uh, uh, concerning. Uh, as far as urban local bodies are concerned and it, it looks like it is a big challenge as uh, 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 you know commissioner for one of the important uh, and upscale uh, uh, urban local body how do you look at uh, tackling this challenge of uh, managing the solid waste the main thing is that uh, as mr jindal also said 100% of the solid waste should be processed Mm -hmm. That is the biggest challenge mm -hmm. as I perceive as a municipal commissioner. If we are just lifting the garbage and transferring it to some dalao and from dalao to, to landfill site, we are just transferring the problem to another location 
that also temporarily. So that's not the solution. If we process this, so our focus on la in last two years has been that how we make South Delhi 100%, how to make South Delhi, uh, in, uh, how, to, uh, how to ensure that uh, this 100% processing of solid waste takes place. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me tell you, it's a very, very tough task. Very, very tough, tough task. And, they, and the, the, fig, fig, the figures also speak uh, because to, almost just 30% just of the target has been achieved as far as uh, solid waste management is concerned. Getting, getting land in Delhi, nobody, they, they call it not in, back, in my backyard sim, syndrome, <laughs> NIMBY syndrome. Nobody wants that plant should be next to my colony. Then uh, it is very difficult to get land because there is so much demand, so much pressure on DDA to give land to different agencies. And uh, then after that, the plant should start processing. There are so many PILs. So amongst all these difficulties, now we have a plan in place and we have tenders and we have the concessioner in, uh, we have yet to give him the letter of award, but we have concessioner that within two years, South Delhi will be 100% solid waste processing will be taking place and we have a plan for hand, uh, tackling our this dump site also. Okay, so, so, so all clearly. this pressure, I would say that of course it is uh, municipality and councillors and commissioner they all think, but this lot of pressure comes because of this surveyction also. Okay. Because for each of these things they are marks. So if you have to improve your rank, you have to think innovatively. So so this 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 survey this surveyction is well, pushing has, you guys further it, to go ahead it, and achieve it, the target. Achieve the target. Definitely. Okay. Let me bring in uh, Dr. Dr. Lalit on this. Dr. Lalit, uh, the solid waste management part of it. It looks like, you know, uh, uh, this is one component, which is the challenge to be tackled at this stage. Other components seems to be, you know, workable and uh, the ULBs are working on that. So how do we tackle this? <clears throat> now we have uh, fecal sludge uh, and septage management policy in place. Mm -hmm. We also have rules for solid waste management. Intent is there, policy framework is there, but it has to bring the real you know actionable level mm -hmm. and uh, this is a saying that we are drowning in human excreta mm -hmm. population is so large garbage mountains are there so population and then poverty and pollution these are all interlinked so we have to attack these programs in a holistic manner and uh, this is a challenge and i think we are on the right path Okay, and so, so we will have to tackle it. this problem in a holistic manner. Holistic we are running short manner. of time, but before we bring this to an end, uh, let me finally bring uh, the mission director, Mr. Jindal. Uh, Mr. Jindal, uh, 4,041 cities uh, uh, will be ranked. Any message or any tips you want to go ahead and give to the citizens of these 4,041 cities and the authorities uh, uh, in the ULVs out there so that they can improve upon their rankings? Our Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister, in his Monkey Bath edition on that uh, Sunday, 31st December has told very, very two important words. Mm -hmm. First, reduce the wastage. First, you should any generation of the wastage should all be reduced. Second is reuse. Whatever the things we were produce and can reuse, use those items. Okay. And third is the recycle. Whatever you have the th materials then the, you use the recyclable things. Mm -hmm. this, this, this is the mantra for the solid waste and segregation. If the segregation is done, then the 90 or 80 percent problem is solved. And the Prime Minister has called upon the, all the peoples of the country to participate in this survey in a very enthusiastic manner so that and take part in the way so that your city comes number one. I appeal all the people of the country that this survey is for you, for your health, for your cleanliness. Because we can't uh, make the India such unless the citizens themselves, participate. Themselves, part, part, themselves part, part, participate. So clearly, uh, as it is pointed out by our panelists here, this particular survey is about us. It is neither about you nor about me. It is about us being a participant. It is, a, it is about us making our cities cleaner. And let us stick to the mantra of reducing the wastage, reusing the waste materials and recycling them. We'll come back again with a different topic and a different set of guests. Till then, keep watching Rajasabha Television.